The implement controls on this loader have stopped working and a fault 358-6 which is current above normal has come up on the Caddy T and we're going to have a look at how to solve this problem. I've never come across this problem and I don't know where the pilot solenoid is so we're going to have a look at how to go about that when you don't know where to look. First thing we need to do is put our serial number in and go to documents and cat sys. Then we're going to go to schematics and we've got a hydraulic and an electrical schematic. We're going to start the electrical first. So we get a main schematic and it comes up here and then we're on a Macintosh computer. So we're going to bring it up in preview so we can actually manage the schematic because sometimes the internet will crash and it's hard to browse through a schematic when that keeps happening. So now we've got that we need to zoom in and try and find out where our pilot solenoid is. Now because our bucket doesn't work we can pretty much assume it's going to be somewhere around the main control valve. On this chart here you can see solenoids, solenoids we've got here, on off pilot solenoid. Well it said we had a pilot problem. So we can start there and go down to F2 I think it was. And if we look on F2 we will find on off pilot solenoid. So that's the solenoid that's playing up and there's the part number if we want to buy it. Now if we go to the hydraulic schematic, open that up. We get a hydraulic schematic version of the loader. This is the main control valve here. And we have a pilot accumulator, so it's going to be pretty close to the pilot solenoid and it's E9 and the way oh it doesn't have it labeled there like everything else so the way to figure out what E9 is is there's a chart down the bottom there's a chart there and we can see E9 implement pilot solenoid so that's the one we are after and we know it's on the main control valve there so here we are at the main control valve. We've cut a little plug and we've hooked our multimeter probes to it. This is the harness that went to the pilot solenoid. And we've got 13.1 ohms impedance, which is just a number. We're not really sure yet what type of reading we're supposed to get. Um, it being inconsistent is a pretty good indication that there's a problem here. Here's another similar solenoid on the side of the control valve, so we'll hook our multimeter up and see what it's doing. Uh, it's not a bad little trick to do if you don't know what it's supposed to be. So we can see this one's just under 39 ohms, which pretty much tells me that uh, this is way too low. Now we've got 7.5 ohms resistance, so there's something wrong with this solenoid and that will be what's causing the high current draw if it's got low impedance it'll just be burning the power also when i pulled the plug to the solenoid out on the caddy t come up with fault 358-5 low current draw so now our ecm is working properly and we brought a new solenoid comes in a little bag like that there's a solenoid there comes with a hold down clamp when we hook our multimeter to the new solenoid we get 38 ohms impedance which is what that solenoid on the side of the valve block was also saying so you can see if they're roughly around the same size they're going to have roughly around the same impedance if you're wondering what a solenoid should test at removing the old solenoid takes a bit of love it's in there quite well it's just a press in so I've just got to apply some upwards force the new solenoid just pushes straight in like that. It's got its O-rings on it ready to go. Push it down and then we can put our hold down clamp in and tighten it up.
clean a bit of oil off the old plug and uh, connect it and see what happens. Well, we can see that the fault 358 has gone. We still got a calibration for our lift link position sensor to do and our engine cooling fan sensor is playing up and now we've got full engine fan but we're gonna have a look at that later but our main fault is gone and now our bucket is working if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below